Holy crap! Is this Dante, aka Triple D, on the lawnmower? Am I like back from the dead? Been gone for seven months? Not to be heard, seen, or thought of? That's me dropping it like unsuspected videos. So, a lot's been going on. A lot's got to talk about. Got a whole nother channel going on. That's something else we're going to have to uh, tell you guys about. But where have I been? Where has the T-R-I-P-L-E-D been? We all know I moved to Georgia. But did we think I was just going to get lost out here? Never to be found? No. Not, not at all. I'm going to have to drop this intro. And we're going to talk. All right, guys. So I'm back, black, back in the flesh. Don't say black and happening. No, back in the flesh. So I don't know where to start. Just so you guys know, I got my crotch rocket back, and I'm starting a another channel. I already started it. I haven't really posted it or made it live yet, but it's. I'm still working on the name. I'm going right now with Triple D Shed Reviews. Shed light on all types of equipment. And that goes as far as anything, lawn equipment, motorcycle equipment. Mainly I'm gutting for motorcycle equipment. So like motorcycle gears, how to do oil changes, basic uh, stop and goals, how to turn, basic maintenance, all that type of stuff on motorcycles. So if you like riding and you like to get out in the outdoors and adventure this beautiful world, check out my channel. Like I said, it hasn't been in, but once it is, y'all gonna know. You're gonna see Triple D out here. So let's get back to the grass. This channel is all based on how to start a small business. Anyone who has not been to this channel, you got here because obviously you're trying to start a business. You got questions, you got things going through your head. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment at the bottom. Be like, hey, I did it, I subscribed, I'm here. If you don't want to put all that, just tell me what's going on. We can chop it up. I can let you know what we can do to kind of help you out. Because trust me, so many people in this industry has helped me out. Big time. I mean, I'm going to give a shout out to a couple people because I, I got to. Seth, the lawn surgeon. He has been in my corner from day one, A1. Keith Kalfis has been there nonstop on my back. Like, he going to give it to you as real as real as can be. All right, I'm saying Stan Genetics, everybody out there, Brian Lawn Maintenance, I can go on and on and on and on and on and don't stop, you know, like Notorious B.I.G., but I'm not, okay? There's so many people out there that you guys can learn from. Um, Augustus Lawn Care, I am mind blown by them, what they're teaching me. So, we're going to get into where have I been. All right, in the background, I got a little... Long hair, I got a little leaf cleanup going on. This is not how I usually do my leaf cleanups. Usually I blow around the trees, blow around everything, and then pick up everything with the leaf, with the uh, mix circles, and pick the leaves up. But man, these leaves were putting it on me. I could not get these leaves to mulch up. They were just turning into small fish food. So. When it usually tells you small fish food, I'm thinking my blades need to be sharpened. So we're gonna have to sharpen the blades up, but this is what I had to do. So this is a technique you can do to get the uh, leaves off the property. 
it works. But I want to get back to where have I been? Okay, so I moved out to Georgia. You guys already know that. I don't know where you guys left off or where I left off. I don't really know the whole inside of where I was at when I dropped. All I know is this last summer is crazy. I'm going to let you guys know how crazy it was. It was crazy. It was so crazy, guys. So I was doing everything. I was doing booking. I, I was my bookie. I was my scheduler. I was my doing yard book. I was doing labor. I was doing quotes. I was doing sales. I was doing something called sleep, maybe. I was trying to keep my body together. I was trying to keep my life together. Got a new girl in the function. I can't say new. She's been in for a while, but this is the first time actually YouTube is actually knowing about Courtney. You guys are going to see a lot of Courtney. Trust me. A lot. So, that's a whole nother story and it's awesome. So, you guys, it's, it's going to be awesome. I've just been doing so much with everything. Relocated where I'm at. Not into a home. That will be in time. Trust me. But, so much going on new cameras can't figure out how to get cameras working so i don't even post because i got a gopro and my gopro is like throwing me crazy because it does crazy quality pictures but i can't find a program to use it so right now i'm using um a different camera the video you're seeing right now actually the camera i've been using broke so i was down for a while because i didn't have a camera to record stuff I've been so busy, I didn't really care to go get a camera to record stuff. And then my baby was like, hey, I got a camera. So I was like, bet. So I've been using her camera. This is the first video I'm doing with her camera. So I don't know how the quality is compared to what I used to give you guys. But it's going to work because it's going to give the same message. The message is don't give up no matter where you're at in life. When life throws you lemons, when life throws you nails, when life throws you anything you don't want, Salt, you take that lemon, you make that lemonade, you take that nails, you make a house, and you take that salt, and you make some fries. You make it happen. Whatever you got to do, make it happen. So, I just really need to jump on here and be like, sorry I've been gone so long. I'm back. I'm back. I'm here. I'm in action. I'm doing a lot of stuff on Facebook, a lot of stuff on Instagram. I'm really not an Instagram person. I'm doing a lot of reels on Facebook. So if you guys have been on my Facebook, if you're not, jump onto my Facebook. All right. But I've been doing a lot of reels and stuff on um, Facebook. So kind of just bleeding in the gaps of what where I've been. All right. Uh, real quick, if you guys haven't been on my Facebook or you want to know what my Facebook is, it's triple D dash D Delore. Once again, it's triple D dash D dash Delore. All right. Go on there. I'm at like 200. I'm at 2.2k friends. Ain't none of them really all friends because when I need to move, who really came through? But that's another story. That's another factor. That's another thing. But go on my Facebook page. You can definitely keep up on little things that I've been doing and how my life has been rolling. If you guys are new and you're back on this channel and you're on my channel, you can't say new and back on the channel because you've never seen this channel. That's why you're new and that's why you're here. So if you are new and you're starting a business, guys, I don't know where to tell you where to start. Start throwing questions in the inbox because I think I could help a lot out with what you guys are trying to go through. So one of the big things I've been going through is I was completely overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Beyond my expectations, overwhelmed. All right? So, I was trying to run a whole full-blown business by myself. And it's hard because you, I can't find good help. I can't find any help. I can't find decent help. I had one dude. Man, I had one dude. He was good. I don't want to say his name because he he might I don't know but he was good I mean we worked good together we were a good team I had to go to Wisconsin because I had some issues with my back 
I guess he thought something wasn't happening, he wasn't getting work, and I gave work to other people, which that wasn't the story. Miscommunication, I came back, he was mad because he wasn't working, and I don't have him no longer. I don't got time to do boohoo stories, I don't got time to backtrack out after people, so I'm back to me, just me, only me. So any um, anyone that has been in my channel, has any suggestions on how to get good help maybe on like online could you steer me in that direction because i've talked to keith kalfas and he taught me that i can go get a bookie dan palaza i probably said his name wrong dan palaza dan palada i probably said his name all jacked up but he has a booking company that will take care of your books i got a text dude uh my text dude you can't i mean he, he's the best he is the best. Chevy, you guys need your taxes? I got the guy. Hit, just hit me up. I'll, invo I'll invoice it to you. Alright, kind of caught wind of where I was at. So, um... Man so much is going on I don't know where to go so anyway so I was doing the booking and I was doing everything but the taxes and I wasn't really giving myself a, a pay cut I was just spending money where money needed to be spending all the money was going into one account it was crazy I had people owing me money I still had people owing me money had two sheets of people owing me money now it's down to like eight people it was crazy the energy I have is because I love that it's crazy because I feel like I hit another step in my business. Like I hit another stepping stone because I went from making X amount of dollars and I cannot push through it. But because I talked to Keith Kalfas and he gave me the people who I'm talking to now, I feel this coming up year I'm going to push through that boundary. Whole new problems, whole new problems, whole new problems. All right, but it's cool because more money, more problems, and I'm down for the problems. All right, so uh, man, so much to talk about, so little time. This is just a quick video of just where I have been at. I'm gonna try to put, post some more videos, and I'm gonna try to be consistent. You guys are probably like, yeah, right, Dante. You'll post five, six videos, and you'll ditch. It won't see you for another eight months. I'm trying not to be that guy. I'm trying to be better. All right, I'm trying to be better. So, as we get back into it, I was doing everything in my business, all right? I have trust issues. I gotta be at the site and be like, and I try not to micromanage people because I don't like to be micromanaged, but I'm like, okay, well, you could you could do this and make your job easier. You could do this and make it so much faster. And then I'm in the office and I'm doing everything in the office. I don't really trust people to do my schedule and paperwork, but I gotta just, put my hands down and let someone take it over I gotta be in the field put my hands down and let someone take it over I need to quit working for triple D lawn care and I need to start doing what I do best and that's delegating my authority and making people do the jobs I need people to do all right Everyone can cut grass. I act like nobody can cut grass the way I cut. Everybody can cut grass the way I cut. I gotta get that out of my mind. All right? I gotta get that out of my mind so I can move forward in this business. So I need to find someone to cut grass. I need to find someone to manage the person cutting grass. I need to find someone to manage the schedule, to manage the person cutting grass, to manage the person who's managing the person cutting grass then that leaves me for buying new work, getting new work, sales and marketing, out there hitting them streets, papers, flyers, knocking on doors, online, commercialing. That's what I'm doing, man. I got to look at the bigger picture. I'm in this little bubble because it's comfortable. It's consistent money. It's decent money. It's not a, it's a little bit of stress, but it's, it's there. It's content. Yeah, get out of that bubble. That's why if you're trying to start a business, 
you're not gonna get nowhere because that bubble that you're not trying to pop is keeping you from getting back grounded it's floating you around and around and it's losing your thoughts and if you pop that bubble you're gonna hit that ground hard like spider-man when he do his little web slinging and hits the ground with the fist and feet like bam spider-man's here to say today that's what's gonna happen you'll pop that bubble you can be bam i can see clearly now the rain is oh, no i'm just joking you're gonna hit that bubble and it's gonna pop and you're gonna be like, wow, why not think about this? Because your problems in your business is because you are doing everything you can do not to take that next step. You don't wanna go out of your comfort zone. You don't want that extra work, that bigger load. You don't want to put in more hours than the hours you're already doing. You don't want to miss out on family events and vacation and weekends. You don't want to get your friends time up and you want to be at birthday parties and events. You, and when I say you, I'm looking at me because at this exact moment, at this exact time and space, I'm looking at a mirror and I'm looking at me. And that is where the problem starts. I need to start getting back out of my comfort zone because my comfort zone, I busted out of it years ago. That's why I'm in Georgia. But now I'm back comfortable. I need to get out of that comfortable zone. So thanks for coming back to my channel. Thanks for trusting that I got you guys as good as your guys is, I don't know the word, like, your faith that I'm going to guide you in the right direction because I'm being guided. But just know, I'm back. I'm back. We're going to do these videos. I'm going to get this better video together. But we're going to do it. Peace. Triple D. I'm out.